Hello folks, I uh, just wanted to post another Monday Rules. I know this one happened to come a hell of a lot later than I initially had planned. Um, I ran into a bit of a technical issue earlier and took me, well, quite a few hours to resolve. Nevertheless, let's actually get going. Uh, first things first, let me announce the winner for last week's Monday Rules Challenge, which was the A Cruiser Challenge. And the winner is Sugarudo, and I apologize if I got this name wrong. Now, I think that Sugarudo here is on the Asian server, although I'm not actually sure about that. So, Sugar, if you're watching this video, please do send me another email and tell me which server cluster you're on so I can send some doubloons your way. Anyways, what I want you all to focus on in this particular battle is just how effective Sugarudo's cruiser is against enemy planes. What was really surprising, even for me, is the sheer number of aircraft that he was able to shoot down at the end, and the fact that he was actually fighting higher tier carriers. The amount of planes that Sugarudo was able to shoot down, I thought, would have McKern maybe had been fighting tier 5 carriers, for example. But instead, yeah, he was actually dealing with higher tier aircraft carriers. And the most important thing that I think um, I should bring up about this particular uh, battle is that a single cruiser played correctly has serious potential to hurt a carrier and so for those of you who are out there playing your cruisers there is a lot to learn from watching how Sugarudo does this particular battle first of all he's defending the big target on his team which is the carrier and he's doing his absolute best to keep his carrier alive the enemy team is actually throwing just about everything they can at his team's carrier. In fact here he actually is able to block a torpedo for his carrier and essentially negate that wave. Even with his defensive AA fire consumable down, Sugarudo is still sticking around his carrier providing as much DPS as possible with his AA guns. And the good thing is, uh, especially with US cruisers, is that your AA guns without the defensive AA fire still does quite a lot of damage. And so Sugaruto is using that damage to maximum effect, try and take down as many planes as possible. The carrier is actually helping himself as well by actually using his fighters to try to deal with incoming squadrons. But again, with the sheer number of aircraft that's flooding in against his carrier, it's actually a miracle that he survived this long. And as you can see, the enemy Lexington is attacking from one side and the enemy Shokaku is attacking from the other side. So this is actually making for quite a challenging uh, environment for Sugarudo to try to defend this one carrier. Nevertheless, he has done a pretty decent job so far. He's downed already 22 aircraft, and the carrier is still alive, which is quite a feat for essentially having been uh, sandwiched between two attack waves. The one thing I actually have to point out is, boy, are these carrier captains persistent. Holy crap, if you look at the map, it's just constant. It's been, ever since they've had the first aircraft squadron come in to bomb this carrier, it has been pretty much non-stop action. Planes are just constantly coming in from all directions. And really, for Sugaruto to single-handedly, essentially, as a cruiser, be defending this carrier, I mean, he's done magnificent work so far. However, trying to keep the carrier alive for the rest of the battle is going to prove nearly impossible and for two primary reasons. And both of them luckily will be remedied in the 4.1 patch. One of them is the flaw in the overall hotspot uh, spawn point, which is, you know, sort of spawning teams away from each other. And that creates a huge problem, particularly in this battle, because the only other ship here that could help Sugarudo is uh, New Mexico, <laughs> which doesn't exactly have the greatest AA suit. The other thing, of course, is of course the CV imbalance. If you look at the fact that uh, Sugarudo is essentially having to deal with two carriers, while the only carrier on his team is this one. That's why this one carrier is going to be absolutely massed with every single plane the other two carriers can muster. Thank God for the 4.1 patch, which will hopefully make these battles much better balanced and will make it a lot more fair. Finally, the Shokaku that Sugaruda has been guarding for such a period, long period of time finally gets bombed, gets set on fire, and is finally killed off. By this time, Sugaruda has already shot down a pretty impressive 32 aircraft. Immediately, he switches over from protecting this carrier to trying to keep his New Mexico alive. 
And as you can see, there are just wave after wave after wave of aircraft that's coming in. But all during this time, Sigurdos A has just been plucking away at these enemy aircraft and it's pretty much been non-stop. By now, there's his Clear Skies medal and at this time it's already in excess of 30 something aircraft. What's going to happen is I'm not going to show this entire battle because, yeah, I mean, this whole battle, and we'll get to the results screen, you'll see just how many planes he shoots down. But I just really want to show, first of all, the intensity at which Sugaruda has to deal with this enemy carrier attack waves. It's just super intense. And on the flip side, hopefully have shown you just how much work a lone cruiser can do against two carriers that are actually concentrating their forces together. And basically, Sugaruto's lone cruiser has been doing a pretty damn good job of, of pretty much negating the enemy carriers. And so, for those cruiser captains out there who are wondering just what kind of work they can do to protect their fleet, this is it. A lone cruiser can, in essence, hold back uh, two carriers worth of attack aircraft. Still, there have been squadrons that have managed to break through the A screen and have managed to land hits on the battleship. Don't feel disheartened if you have this happen to you when you're in a cruiser. Remember, your job isn't to fully negate a carrier strike. Your job is to minimize the damage that the ships on your team take so they can stay in a battle for a longer period of time. And by staying around longer, you give your team a better chance to actually win. Finally, Sugaruto switches over to an anti-surface role and lends his guns to try to help finish off this Nagato. And that's another role for cruisers that one has to really pay attention to is that your role is both anti-air and anti-surface. So don't forget to use your main guns to lend aid to your team. In this particular case, he is able to finish off this battleship. However, during this time that Sugaruto is trying to lend aid in dealing with the Nagato, the New Mexico wandered away from his cruiser protection and of course by doing that is going to come under attack by torpedo bombers and very quickly this is going to lead to this New Mexico sinking. By this period of time, which has only been approximately 7 minutes of combat, Sugaruto has shot down 48 aircraft. Alright, let's just jump to the results screen because I don't really have to show you the rest of the battle to show you how many planes he shot down and you know how he does it um, because it's rather self-explanatory. So let's take a look at his results here. And Sugaruto here at the end of this battle manages to shoot down 72 aircraft in a Pensacola. I was floored by that number. I thought the winning entry might be somewhere in like the 60s range, which I saw like one or two people get in their Baltimores, but 72 in in a Pepsi-Cola just absolutely floored me. On an even more surprising note, not only did Sugaruto manage to shoot down that many planes, he actually also did pretty decent damage in the 60 some odd thousand range, and he actually manages to bag himself three kills as well which I thought was phenomenal because it showed you just how awesome the cruiser can be. It can be anti-air, anti-surface, anti-air, so it's fantastic. Total base experience that Sugaruto managed to get for that battle, 3,403. I bow to your greatness, Sugaruto. You have done an absolutely phenomenal job in that Pensacola of yours. I hope you keep it up because you're a real asset to your team. And the new Monday Rules Challenge, which is the fourth challenge, uh, starting August the 31st, ending September the 6th, is the U.S. Historic Guns Only Challenge. And there is a ship restriction here, so you're only allowed to use either the Farragut or the Mahan. You can only use your guns, no torpedoes, and no other restrictions aside from that. And the winning criteria is the most damage done. So good luck, get out there, take these destroyers, go have some fun, and always remember, Monday Rules. Although in this particular case, since it's being uploaded on Tuesday, Tuesdays are awesome as well. Have a good one.